Hey, what's going on? Really, really happy to have with me a uh, singer of Papa Roach, Jacoby Shaddix. Uh, dude, what I love about you is that you're always relevant. Um, and that oh, is such a difficult thing to do in this business is to stay relevant for as long as you stayed relevant. Um, and I want to ask you straight off, what do you think, you, what do you attribute that to? Well, thanks all first for, thanks for the compliment, man. Um, you know, I think for us, it's just this raw passion, drive and convictions toward, towards creating music where we feel like we're pushing uh, rock into the future and always trying to progress. And I think part of it is, is uh, we're all so unique as members of the band and we all bring something really different to the table and we all have different tastes and we're super wide eclectic range of music that we love since from the beginnings right. of the band. And so we're all bringing something different. And from the beginning of the, in, you know, at the inception of Papa Roach, I had to convince Jerry, our guitar player, to come be part of the band because he didn't want to because we were too funky. And Jerry was like <laughs> listening to Slayer and Metallica and, yeah. you know, like industrial music, Front 242 and like, you know, all that kind of stuff. And so from the beginning, we've always been that band that's mashing those things together. And then also, man, just like, we made it through the dark ages of rock music, I feel like, or the dark ages of the music industry in general, because, you know, when Napster came around, that was a scary time for everybody. And, you know, we just fought through that stuff and, and we love each other, man. I think that the compromise amongst the brotherhood is, is an important thing as well. I attribute to the longevity of this band. Uh, it, it probably has to do with the fact that you guys not only are, are come from different creative angles, but you're all very, very open to change yeah. and you're open to growth and you could tell you could tell because yeah. you'd see when people are able to do stuff like that go back into the past talk about it get through some of the tough stuff and then come out on the other end everybody grows from it i mean every band that i've seen do that bands like metallica yeah. um, there's been you know bands like you too they've all done that process and they come out stronger for it so uh, i gotta commend you on that uh, because i know that's that's not easy to do it's and, and it and i'm sure there's kind of the times when you're sitting and going should we be doing this? Is this going to take away from our cred? Like all that stuff. I'm sure those conversations all happen. Absolutely, man. There's been moments where I'm like, is this my, is this my path or is this my calling anymore? Yeah. You know, I've had that, am I going to step away from this? And every time we go back into the studio and we start writing a new record, I'm like, Oh hell no, I can't. Oh no, away. dude, no, no. You're, you're born for this. It's not, there's this not, is, no, what am I you thinking? can't, you can't yeah. change you from the minute I met you till like you're, you're, this is, yeah. this is what you need to be doing. You, you found your path. So the second, volume of the greatest hits uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, let me ask you you guys went out on a limb a bit with some of these you had some collaborations yeah rethinkings what was that like um well for us it's we wanted to make it special for the fans you know because yeah. we know the fans have a bunch of this music uh, but we wanted to do some remix we've been a really big fan of the edm scene over the last few years and collaborating taking our music, our stems, sending them off to a DJ and having them flip it and yeah. bring their flavor to it. It's been, that process has been really fun for us. Um, you know, cause we've like, you, we've, we've been inspired by EDM music as well. Like we've brought some of those sounds into what we do. Yeah. And uh, so that's kind of a, been a natural progression for us. And then also stripping away the loud guitars and just doing some acoustic stuff right. and having that element shine through because that's something that we feel in the future would be cool to i guess kind of dig deeper into and then uh you know we had danny Warsnot from asking alexandria on yeah. this cut called broken is me and he's just a rip and vocalist i've i've really grown to love that dude he's like a brother to me you know the whole the whole band like we did a tour with them and shine down and uh we just had a great time we took them out this uh past well two summers ago on our headlining tour in america and we just bonded with those guys. And so it felt really natural to have uh, Danny as part of this. Yeah. And he slayed the vocal on the track. He's oh, yeah. Those, yeah. He's, you know, he's just got that super distinct rip and rock voice. And he's got this soulfulness to it as well. And so it was cool to have him on it. And, uh, you know, some of the some of the tracks are the great, you know, the singles. But then there's other songs that weren't necessarily the big singles. Uh, song like Periscope or bringing in, you know, American Dreams. It was it was it was a decent you know it charted decently but it was like it was another one of those songs that when we play live if it, it just goes off yeah you yeah. know and so it's like we brought some of our what we felt was the 
the fire to it. And then also, you know, we looked at streaming and saw what the people were voting for there. Yeah. Well, and, and, and the fact that you have a second greatest hits, I mean, not many people get one. So Bro, it's, it's <laughs> that's, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of laughable. It's like, I really feel like when we put out the first greatest hits, I was like, yeah, this is so okay. It seems like a little premature, like, cause we did it in 2010. Yeah. And, uh, but then when we got to this volume two, it just really, honestly, in my heart, like it feels like the right time to do something. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I am so grateful and humbled that we're able to do this. And we put a lot of care into the packaging of it and the layout and choosing the tracks and what went on. And, and, and we feel like it's an awesome collector's piece. Um, what's coming after that? I imagine you guys are, are working on other stuff. Yeah. Okay. There must be. <laughs> okay. Rock. Let me tell you, tell um, me. We, got, we, got a, we got a record that's in the can right now that's just slays. This okay. is some very inspired Papa Roach music. We took some time. Uh, in the end of last year, we, we rented this big old Airbnb compound. Everybody got COVID tested. And uh, we, we locked in this bubble for a month. And it was from the time we stepped onto the property to the time we left, it was just creation 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 and that experimental phase in the creative process is it's really fun yeah. I, I love that and and there's stuff that came out of those sessions that made the record and then there's stuff that came out of those sessions that didn't make the record that well maybe those will be something for another release or you know for a soundtrack or something like that and so over the last few months we've been chipping away at finishing this album up and and i think we've got i think we're pretty much like 99.9 percent .9 done and so we're going to be dropping new music this summer and ramping up you know to a release either later in the year or early next year okay so we're we're pretty far ahead <laughs> yeah, yeah that's good we, that's good we feel like it's time to do that man because every other time it just feels like oh man we got the record done we gotta hurry up we gotta get yeah. the artwork approve this oh we're three days late for the video and yeah. you know we just want to be ahead of the curve well and that's smart because when things do roll out people are going to be hungry for live shows they're going to be hungry for everything so that's everybody i but i've been speaking to that's creative is using this time now to reconnect with their with their family and to to be super creative and 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 try to kind of put a bit of it in the bank so when it times comes times to do the withdrawals you got everything there so i know man i mean honestly jay we're like it's funny because we're talking about the track listing for this new record and i'm like man we're gonna have to like even drop a few more to get to do this album i'm like bro we're like we're halfway done with a second one it's good it, it's good it's, yeah man it is good and like honestly man i'm like i just want to I just want to drop album and then drop another record and yeah. then drop another record. We're just having this, this, this flow right now that I just, I don't want to stop. And don't, don't. <laughs> <I> don't. <laughs> don't. Yeah. And, and that's, that's what we're doing. I mean, I just keep creating, um, Tobin just sent me some new pieces the other day and I'm like, all right, cool. Let me just break. I got the, I got the SF seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to get rowdy on that thing again up here and scream and shout, hoot and holler and make some noise, you know? It's great. Well, look, dude, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Um, continued success. Looking forward to seeing you in the flesh again. And yeah, uh, man, put a hug on you. And enjoy that time with the family because uh, yeah. from everything you're telling me, once things open up, you're not going to get much of it again. <laughs> well, you know, hey, but I got to talk about that balance too, though, you know? Got to yeah. work on that balance. Awesome. Thanks for having me, man.